Hey, it's Allison from Computers.Mom, and today's video will show you how to password protect a Word document, an Excel spreadsheet, or a PowerPoint slideshow. We'll cover how to add or remove a password, and you'll find a summary of the steps at the end of the video. If you use the Microsoft Office Suite, also called Microsoft 365, you probably know that it includes a whole bunch of apps, including Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Since they're all part of the same family, these apps have a bunch of common features, so the steps to add a password to a file are identical in all three on any kind of computer. If you're sharing a file with sensitive information, especially via email, which is normally not secure, adding a password is a great idea. This video will demonstrate using a Word document on a Windows computer, so let's dive in. First, of course, we need a document. Let's open Word and create a new document. You can do this just as easily with an existing document. To begin adding a password, click the File menu on the upper left corner. On the list that appears, click Info, and then click on the Protect Document button. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see better. You can check out some of the other options on this list, but they're not our topic right now. Let's choose Encrypt with Password. A dialog box opens ready for you to type the password you want. Note that there are no suggestions or restrictions here, like how many characters or upper and lowercase letters or numbers and so on. You have a lot of flexibility about the password you choose, but of course avoid the obvious things like password and your dog's name. Also, Word and Excel for the Mac have a 15 character limit on the password length, so even if you're creating your document on a Windows computer, you may be sharing it with a Mac user, so stay within 15 characters to be safe. And I can't stress this enough, even though it warns you in the window, keep a record of the password because if you forget it, you're sunk. It's not recoverable. You could also keep a separate copy of the file without a password just in case. Since you can't see the password as you type it, once you click OK, you'll be prompted to retype it to make sure there are no typos. Once you've confirmed the password, notice that the Protect Document box changes appearance so we know it worked. Now click the left arrow up here to return to the document and save it as you normally would. The next time you try to open it, you'll be required to enter the password like so. All set. So that was very easy, right? But what if you want to remove the password? If we repeat those steps, click File, then Info, then Protect Document, notice that there's no option on this list to remove a password. It's a little less obvious than adding a password, but all you have to do is choose Encrypt with Password again, then delete the password from the dialog box and click OK. Now the document's back to normal, no password required. So that's the whole story. Here are the steps all on one page for convenience. To password protect a Word document, Excel spreadsheet, or PowerPoint presentation, with the file open, click File, Info, Protect Document, and then choose Encrypt Document with Password. Enter a password that's no more than 15 characters long, then re-enter the password to confirm. And finally, return to the file and save it. Be sure to keep a record of the password and perhaps also an unencrypted copy of the document. And if you need to remove the password, follow the same steps but delete the password from the password box. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave comments and questions below. Click like if you found this helpful. And be sure to subscribe for more Computers.Mom videos.